Hi, I'm Alexander Jones, and I'll be presenting a quality improvement study investigating radiation exposure reduction for CT-guided sacroiliac joint injections. We have no conflicts of interest. Lower back pain is one of the most common musculoskeletal complaints in the world, with a global prevalence of about 12 to 18 percent. Of that population, between 15 to 30 percent of cases are attributed to sacroiliac joint osteoarthritis. First on treatment consists of conservative management. If conservative management fails, more invasive treatments such as injections or fusion are possible options. For this study, we focused on injections. Sacroiliac injections can be done using CT fluoro guidance, which is widely accepted due to the confidence it gives the operator that the injection is truly intraarticular. This procedure has demonstrated adequate pain relief in about 58 to 88 percent of patients. The downside of this modality is higher radiation exposure, arguably justified by increased accuracy. This procedure also has a large variability in radiation exposure that is likely multifactorial. We hypothesized that a large amount of that variability was due to the default CT scanner parameters that are used, which is demonstrated in this figure. The primary aim of our study was to determine the effect of decreasing CT scanner parameters on radiation exposure in clinical and technical outcomes. We completed an IRB-approved retrospective cohort study. Inclusion criteria included 18 to 85-year-old subjects treated at a single institution with a unilateral CT-guided injection between March 2018 and May 2020. There was a default protocol change in September 2019 that required minimal time investment. Patients with repeat procedures or bilateral injections were excluded from the study. CT scanner parameters and radiation exposure were extracted for both the pre-scan and CT fluoro components of the procedure. Subjects were dichotomized into two groups based on low or high KV, and MAS was evaluated as a continuous variable. Other possible confounding factors were adjusted for in statistical analysis. Clinical outcomes were measured by the difference in pre- to post-procedural pain scores. Technical outcomes were measured by the duration and the number of scans required to complete the CT fluoro component of the procedure. In total, 128 subjects met inclusion criteria with the demographics shown. For both the CT pre-scan and procedure components, the low KV group had significantly less radiation exposure than the high KV group. There was also significantly less radiation exposure to subjects with lower MAS value. In terms of outcomes, changes in pain score, procedure duration, or number of scans were not associated with KV or MAS parameters. In terms of quality improvement, this figure shows radiation dose over time. On the x-axis is time in months, and on the y-axis is radiation dose. The protocol change occurred in September 2019, indicated by the shaded zone. As you can see, there is a preponderance of low-dose studies and lower variability after the change was made. In conclusion, we found that reducing CT, KV, and MAS reduced radiation exposure without affecting clinical outcomes or measurable increase in technical difficulty. Minimal education was needed to implement the protocol change, and it led to immediate quality improvement for patients undergoing CT-guided sacroiliac injections by reducing exposure to ionizing radiation. Here are our references. Thanks for listening.